highlights of your address to the young girls that I think have been uh, gathered from across the country to, to try to look at their issues, their problems? One, the girls are not victims, but they are the solutions. Two, we would like to break the rules so that we should not pass the challenges from this generation to the generation which we have today. We would like through these girls to make a good nation, a good family, a good church, and also a good working place where people are going to work with that conducive environment. And we would like also to break the, the defilement, the end child marriage, the, the, the trafficking through these girls. The moment we are telling the girls themselves, they are able to stand in their shoes. And it's, it's one way of empowering them, that they can be assertive, they can stand in their shoes and say to early marriages, say to, 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 to defilement, say to HIV AIDS, and even say no to whatever challenges which they are going through. Even the mothers, they'll be saying, Mom, yes, I know and believe and trust and respect you that you are my mom, but I cannot even go by the early marriage which you are talking about. I cannot even allow going around with my dad in the same house, the one who've married you. So it's one way of empowering them that they can stand in their shoes and say no to whatever challenges they're going through. Even the chiefs themselves, even if they're saying they're going to be their blankets or they're going to remove the dust and whatever, when we empower them, they can stand in their shoes and say to know those, to know to those or to all those. And they can even call us. They can call the helpline, the UNECO, the 8001234 or the 116. They can call Patricia. They can call even the PS Minister of Gender. The moment they do that, we're going to be at their door and we're going to rescue them and we're going to arrest the perpetrators. So we are here to empower the girls that they've got to be the solutions of each and every problem, the challenges which are going through. And we are also telling them that Malawi government, we are committed and we have the registrations and we would like to publicize the registration to these girls that they've got to know what we have, that they can take it. Uh, one of the stick issues that is clearly coming out and it has been there for so long is the uh, young girls being married off at a tender age. And we, the, another issue that is coming out is the uh, the, the, the contravention be, between the law, the penal code, some is saying 18 years, 14 years. As government, where are we on this issue? In fact, the one which are saying, saying the 14 years, it was not even being endorsed by the president. So it's not a law, because if he, the president hasn't even assented to that, it, it cannot be a law. That's why we are taking it back to parliament, that if the voting age is 18, we'd like to take also the marriage age to be 18. That is the minimum. And the girls, they can even, because those who are 18, some of them are in standard 8, some are in standard 7, so they cannot even get married. What type of a family they're going to make? Some are in form 2, some are in form 1, some are even in form 4. But what we're looking forward is, that is the starting point. But they can opt to be at school even beyond that, even 30 years. Until even they, they can start working without even getting into marriage so that they make sure that they are comfortably uh, independent, that when they go into marriage there is nobody who can come and say, or who can come and abuse them. But they can stand in their shoes and say, no to this for me, no this to me, no this to my, to my parents. That's why we're looking forward to empower these girls.